In this video, I'm gonna show you how to get the Dolphin emulator for UWP updated to the latest version. Sir Magler has been updating all of his emulator builds over the last couple of days, and as such, Dolphin for UWP has seen quite a substantial update compared to previous versions. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to get updated to those latest versions so you can take advantage of all the new features that come and might potentially come in future updates. Now this process does involve uninstalling the old build to get the latest build. So if you are not using a USB drive, I highly recommend doing so because it just saves you a ton of time and less headaches. But let's go ahead and dive in. Now, as we get started, once again, this guide is assuming you have followed one of my Dolphin UWP setup videos from the last six, seven months. That way, everything you are doing is running from USB. It makes the update process nice and simple. If you are not running Dolphin from USB, again, I highly recommend doing so just so you don't ever have to worry about losing any data just from update processes, Microsoft accidentally breaking stuff with a dev mode update, or any other random crap that could just randomly delete stuff off of dev mode. But the first step to updating Dolphin for UWP is to head over to Sir Mangler's GitHub. Link will be in the description below and grab the latest release of Dolphin Emulator for UWP. So just ignore version numbers in this video because who knows what number it'll be when you're watching it, but the steps are gonna be the same regardless. So just head down, grab the latest versions app X bundle. And there we go. Now get your Xbox Series X or S booted up into dev mode and make note of the remote access IP number so that way you can get booted up into the Xbox device portal. The next step is to uninstall our older version of the Dolphin emulator. So you can do this through the Xbox device portal by going to actions, clicking on uninstall or through the Xbox in dev mode itself by just going over to the app listing, pressing the back view whatever button, and clicking on uninstall. So we're just gonna uninstall it here. And there we go. Now within our Xbox device portal, we're gonna install the newest version of Dolphin for UWP. So under my games and apps, click on add, choose file, and now navigate to where you have that AppX downloaded. So for me, it's just right here on my desktop. So just select it, click on next. There's no dependencies for Dolphin. So click on start and it will install it for you. And done, Dolphin is now installed and we're ready to set it up. So just go ahead and close out of your device portal. We no longer need it. So now back over on the Xbox, our first step for setting up Dolphin is to press our back view whatever button once again, head down to view details, and change Dolphin from UWP app to UWP game. And once that's set, I always like to do a console restart. Again, it probably isn't necessary, but I like to do it anyway because whatever. But with the Xbox rebooted, go ahead and boot into Dolphin emulator and we will get this set back up in a snap. Once Dolphin is open, just go ahead and press your start button to go into the settings tab here. And then you could use your D-pad to switch between menus here. So we're gonna go down to that paths tab here on the left. So just press A on this, head down to paths, and now press B so you can select the folder over here. And we're going to set our Dolphin user folder location. So again, if you followed my guides, you already have this all easily set up on USB. All you need to do is select Dolphin right here press your back view button to select the folder. And once that's done, you just need to press your guide button, quit out a dolphin, and then launch it again. And now every single thing that you had previously set up on previous versions of dolphin are already good to go. So your games list, your controls, your hotkeys, your HD texture packs, your online settings, Everything is already set and good to go to resume play. You don't have to do any additional setup unless you're trying to do some of the new features that are included with any said update. So for example, this update added new tabs for different systems, which is pretty cool. So Virtual Console, GameCube, Wii, like it's all very nicely sorted. There's also a new NetPlay menu, which is really helpful. 
But from here, we're just free to begin enjoying our GameCube Wii games once again without having to adjust anything that we have previously set up. But with that, our Dolphin emulator for UWP is now updated to the latest version. We're able to take advantage of all the newest fixes brought about by master builds of Dolphin, as well as new features that Sir Mangler has been able to implement, such as netplay menus and save state functionality. But thank you so much as always for watching today's video. I hope it helps you get your Dolphin UWP app updated easily and running to your desires. But here at the end of the video, I do have a couple of huge favors to ask. If you haven't done so already, please be sure to hit that like dislike button, depending on how much you like today's video, as well as the sub button and notification bell so you can see when new videos go live on the channel. Loads of content always coming your way and I'd love to have each and every one of you along for the ride. For anyone interested in further helping support the channel and keep it going, you can also check out that join button here on YouTube or the Patreon link in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. A little goes a long way to keeping this place up and running and bringing all of this content directly to you. Big shout out to all of our current backers. Thank you so much for believing what we do here and just continuing to be such incredible champions. We couldn't do it without you. But until next time, my wonderful internet peeps, you all stay awesome, keep on gaming, and we'll see you back next video.